We see tribalism in the YouTube phenomenon. Who here has watched a YouTube video in the last year? Okay, you know what? In many countries I speak to now, it's everyone has watched a video from YouTube in the last week. It's growing very fast. Um, and uh, YouTube is become, has become the largest TV station in the whole world. Um, and it was started just by two young men with no marketing budget, with just two computers in a bedroom in their house. Um, and uh, they have just been given a check by Google for $1.63 billion, which is not bad. But they are forming tribes. These, these, uh, it's, it's a TV station of tribes. Um, and uh, Google allows us to find our own tribe instantly. However tiny your tribe is, you will find someone in it. And Google, therefore, and search engines allow us uh, to create new tribes, to market to new tribes instantly. And these tribes themselves are gaining huge power. Look at this. Uh, this is TripAdvisor.com. I don't know if anybody has been to TripAdvisor's site. Uh, but, you know, if I uh, type in the name of uh, this hotel, um, I might get immediately the hotel's uh, own website somewhere, uh, the paid listings which say this is the best hotel in Bangkok, of course, um, and, uh, and I might see some comments. Now, these are not comments about this hotel, but imagine that they were. Imagine these were the second and third listings on Google underneath the official site. So you've got three choices. You can click on the official site, which tells you all the amazing reasons why this hotel is the best in the whole of the world. Or you can click on a positive comment, or you can click on a negative comment by someone who stayed in the hotel last week and nearly died, they say. Now, I want you to put your hands up if you would click first on the hotel's official site to learn the truth about the hotel. Put your hands up if you would click first on the first of those two comments, the positive one. Put your hands up if you would click first on the negative comment because you're worried about where you've been booked into. My friends, you have just shown me something incredibly important about the future, more powerful than I could possibly have shown. You have shown me the truth, which is that in the online world, advertising is dead. Why? Because this poor hotel can spend one billion dollars every week advertising, promoting itself. But you have shown me that you will not be impressed at all. You will not even click on that site. Why? Because if you can find another user, an ordinary human being, who is not paid by that hotel, that has made a comment that you will trust that user more than the hotel, right? So it's the death of branding. It's the death of marketing, aggressive marketing. It's the birth of revelation the birth of information. In fact, advertising becomes information. Here are the facts about us. And the online community then becomes revelation. So we have the official site here, which says, these are our benchmarks. These are our customer promises. This is what we aim to do every single time. And then here is revelation. This is whether we are, they are consistent with the standards they have set. And in the middle, well, the advertising agencies in the world don't know where to go, I promise you. 